what's it like to work at a model rocket company? In this video, we'll go behind the scenes at Apogee Rockets to find out what goes into the development and production of a cool model rocket kit. You'll discover how your next rocket is made. So, let's go behind the scenes now. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan. Welcome to another edition of Behind the Scenes at Apogee Components. We'd like to do these videos every now and then to let our customers know of those exciting things that we think that are happening here at Apogee. So you can kind of get a feel for what's going on. So you're kind of part of the family. Well, I want to play you a video uh, this week of what happened last week. Let me go ahead and get it started here. Um, the cool thing was that we got a brand new shipment in and here you can see West and Tyler unloading it with the uh, assistance of the driver. Uh, you can see it's a big piece of equipment and I wonder if you can guess what this might be. Uh, what this is, is a large format um, vinyl printer. So here's kind of a tour of Apogee again. Uh, we're, we're taking the printer back to its new home in the back room. Okay, so this is, um, this is where our printer is going to live in this back corner. See that red thing off there to the top right? That is my 3D printer where I print prototypes of products that I'm gonna be working on. Um, as you can see, here I am in the video. I'm checking out the new printer. This is my very first look at the printer trying to see all the new features underneath the cover and um, yeah trying to get a bit oh there I am hey what's that camera doing in my face oh look at this printer it's my new baby you can see how big it is it's about eight feet across um, and it can actually print on paper about 30 inches wide so the next day, uh, you can see the technician came in and uh, hooked up the machine for us uh, and then gave us some training on how to use it. This is actually a lot simpler than our old one. Uh, last year, um, probably like in June, our, our vinyl printer went down and it was down for about three months. And this had us kind of spooked because um, basically we couldn't produce any new kits because they didn't have the decals to go into the kits. Um, so it was based on that situation that we decided, hey, we need to go out and actually get a new printer um, and have a backup plan in case the, uh, the printer goes down again. This one not only cuts around the part on the decal, but it actually cuts the paper too, so the paper drops out, and it just makes things faster for us. We're trying to be more efficient to keep our prices down so we don't have to raise prices in the future as nearly as much. We've had another printer before and uh, this one allows us to do decals that are a lot wider um, so we can basically take the current decals that we have and we can turn them sideways and we can print them twice as fast since we're printing them uh, two up. Uh, this, is, this is from our old printer. You can see our old one was limited to 15 inches wide so now we can do it twice as wide. Um, and They come on long rolls like this. Um, in our old decal printer, it would first print it, and then we'd have to run this through a separate 
cutting machine that cuts around the perimeter. Uh, so then, now this is kind of like the finished rocket, uh, what it will look like with its decals on. The nice thing about vinyl decals is um, there's actually two things that are nice. One is vinyl as a plastic. So if it ever gets wet, uh, the decals will, um, nothing will affect them. Um, so you don't have to worry about your decals, you know, the ink running or anything like that. Um, they are also stretchable. So if you need to wrap around a corner, like going over the edge of a fin, um, you're doing a compound curve. So not only are we curving this way around the rocket, but we're also curving like on a nose cone. They can kind of stretch just a little bit. And so they lay nice and flat without any creases on them. Um, so you'll like vinyl decals if you never use vinyl decals before. And they're really, and because they're water resistant, like I said, you can actually put them on using soapy water. And that's how I recommend people put decals on because you'll, that little soapy water film kind of lubricates it so you can kind of slide them around. Then when you get it to where you want it, you just kind of squeegee out all the water and it dries. Um, that's how these were put on and they're not going to come up. Um, it doesn't affect the decals at all, so don't be afraid about doing it like that. The other cool thing about this decal printer is we can make posters. Um, we printed off this new X15 poster that you see behind me, um, and now we can do them, you know, not only 15 inches wide, we can do them almost 30 inches wide. So, you know, it gives us options to um, make posters for our walls, and, you know, as you come into Apogee Components, you'll see the posters on the walls. Um, now we're going to start printing those in-house for our own use. I don't know if we're going to start selling posters, but we do have that option in the future. Uh, we also, we don't make custom decals for customers right now. Um, and again, we don't have plans to. Our decal machine is running nonstop just to make decals for our own rocket kits. So we don't have time, unfortunately, to make decals for other people. So that is what's going on here at Apogee Components. This was Behind the Scenes at Apogee. And again, my name was Tim Van Milligan. Thanks for watching.